Hi, my name is Ashley Hesford. I am 34 years of age and I own the Dream Centre in Glasgow. I first started dancing when I was seven years old and I went to a local dance class um, in the local area. And into my teenage years, I realised that I really enjoyed dancing and choreographing. And from that experience, I decided to come and train as a primary school teacher. After qualifying as a primary school teacher, I was receiving opportunities to travel internationally with dance and prepare teams for world championships overseas. And that gave me the passion and the desire to open the Dream Centre and move forward with my dancing career um, than my teaching career. The Dream Centre is a dance studio based in the East End of Glasgow. We teach all styles of dance including contemporary, ballet, musical theatre, jazz. We also teach a range of gymnastic classes. These are really popular at the studio. We teach foundation gymnastics from preschool right up to advanced and elite level. As basic as our animals and our shapes to elite tumbles and group work. We have achieved a lot in our two years that the studio have been opened. Obviously with the pandemic we have been very limited to competitions and performances. In our first year we had a very successful competing campaign. Um, my favourite performance was of our senior jazz category at our Future Tier competition where the girls received grand champions in the highest scoring um, routine of the day. It was just great to see a mix of new and previous um, dancers, experienced dancers, come together, work to hit their goals and excel um, and really take the spotlight that day. It was a brilliant day, um, a great feeling and it's memories that always make us smile and always make us happy. In 2022, we are looking forward to the children being able to perform in front of their parents again. Uh, we have our 2022 production at the Mitchell Theatre in April, where this will be the first time all of our pupils at the Dream Centre get to perform on the stage. We also have our competing season that we haven't had for the last two years. Uh, a lot of our dancers haven't had the chance to compete with their teams, which will be exciting as well. In terms of the Dream Centre and the progressions that we would like to see in terms of the business, we are hopeful to make sure that we are continuing to grow, that we provide premises and state-of-the-art facilities for our kids and our teachers are staying at the top of their game. We have a great faculty of teaching members who have been industry professionals for a long time and their goal is to give the best teaching experience for all the kids that come here. I'm Bethany, Bethany Tenick. I teach musical theatre here at the Dream Centre uh, and I'm also a, an actor, musician and writer. Um, I've been doing it for a really, really long time. I did it all the way through school and then when I was 17 I went to the Royal Conservatory of Scotland and I studied musical theatre uh, and I graduated back in 2018. I started writing musicals two years ago um, professionally, which has been a really big transition. Uh, and I love teaching and love kids, so I'm also teaching musical theatre as well, kind of in between jobs. We have a wide range of ages of pupils who attend the studio. We have children who are as young as one years of age who attend our parent and child classes straight through to adult age groups. Um, we have a diverse and an energetic atmosphere in the studio. Um, lots of fun classes, a very busy timetable, um, which we are very proud of. But the underlying thing that we love about the Dream Centre is that we have lots of fun, lots of energy and lots of learning. One of our favourite dates in our cal calendar is our Watch Week, um, where we invite parents and carers into the class 
to watch their child participate in a classroom setting. So it's not as, form as, as formal as a performance, it is more than seeing their kids just interact with the teachers, interact with their kids, other kids in the class, um, and just for them to see the progression that they're making. Parents are the backbone of our business. Without the parents' sacrifice of bringing their kids to class every single week or day, um, encouraging them to be part of the Dream Centre, encouraging them to be the best that they can be, encourage them to be mannerful um, and have that strong work ethic at the same time and relationships with the teachers, then the business wouldn't work. Um, and I'm really proud of the positive parent-teacher relationships that we have here at the Dream Centre. Well, my name's Lynn. I am, I'm one of the parents at the Dream Centre and my daughter Hallie goes here. Uh, Hallie attends the Thursday class, um, she's in the Tiny Talk class and she also attends the Saturday morning class as well. Um, and I've been coming to the Dream Centre just over a year now. When Hallie first came to the Dream Centre she wasn't a very confident child and I feel like since she's been here our confidence has grown massively thanks to the team. The Dream Centre is very much a family feeling. Um, we, we've attended other clubs but Ashley just makes it so involved for every child um, and you really feel as if you're a part of a family when you come here. I think the atmosphere here is always really kid oriented, which is really nice that it's not like a you must listen to us or because we are so amazing, like blah blah blah. It's very much like it's focused on the kids. I think Ashley promotes a really, really rounded and grounded kind of atmosphere. Like it's always full of fun. Like we celebrate all the holidays with the kids and like we get loads of stuff in. We don't make them cry. We don't, <laughs> you know, we don't enforce anything. It's always been a really lovely environment to, to teach in and also to watch the kids grow up in as well. I chose the name Dream Centre based on a bit of inspiration that I found at an airport. Um, I was in a shop and I came across a trinket that had this quote saying on it and the word dream just stuck out for me um, and from that point I knew that the studio or the dance school had to be based around the name Dream. When I planned and envisioned the Dream Centre, I didn't have it just bracketed to dance or just one genre. Um, I wanted it to be a diverse range of styles, opportunities for people to learn. So that's why we came up with a centre, so that it's a centre where we have got a range of teachers, a range of styles, a range of approaches that suit everybody's needs. The most important attributes for becoming a dancer or a gymnast or a performer I believe is having a great work ethic. If you work hard at something um, and you have the right teachers and coaches that you will be successful. Um, also having an open mindset of learning and becoming better and not being bracketed to thinking that these are the skills that you can use and these are what you're good, this is what you're good at. Always opening yourself up to opportunities to learn more from others um, and work with others.